71% of Earth's surface is covered by saltwater oceans. The remaining area comprises continents and islands. Certain commodities are abundant in particular areas of the world by nature. These commodities should be made available throughout the world. International trade is the exchange of goods and services across the national borders. The main route of trading was to sea. Peter Watson dates a history of long-distance commerce from Sitka 1,60,000 years ago. To understand the sea route and to avoid being drifted away from the route due to national disaster, mariners were able to identify the routes during daytime. During night, they used to burn coal or heaps of wood on the high pinnacles of rocks or mountains flanking the coastline. This has become the foundation for inventing lighthouses. Pharos of Alexandria was world's first lighthouse and was built in 3rd century. It was said to be 135 meters high. During the night, flames of fire were burnt, which was visible from a distance of 20 miles in sea. Smoke emanating from the fire enabled the tower to serve as landmark. In 13th century, this lighthouse got damaged due to a severe earthquake. Ferology, the science of lighthouse design and engineer, was originated from this. As time advanced, the trading also increased between the nations. The number of vessels on voyage also increased. If there were no effective aids to navigation, there might be many unexpected mishaps. To avoid wreckage and facilitate safe navigation and perfect berthing at all places, aids to navigation played an important role. Indian Peninsula has 7,517 kilometers coastline dotted with lighthouses and other aids to navigation. These are maintained by the Directorate General of Lighthouses and Lightships. In the year 1927, to set up a central authority for the administration, a legislation called the Indian Lighthouse Act was passed. It is now renamed as Lighthouse Act 1927. It is an act to consolidate and amend the law relating to the provision, maintenance and control of the lighthouses by the Government of India. The present inventory of the Directorate has 295 aids to navigation. There are 180. deep water channels in depth varying between 25 and 40 meters by marking them with lighted buoys. There are totally 21 buoys in the Gulf of Kutch and Gulf of Kambat. Buoys marking the Salaya Navigable Channel. There are 11 deep water marking buoys in Salaya Channel. In Gulf of Kambat, 9 buoys guide the vessel to navigate them to Narmada Channel. Saga Deep 2 is a buoy maintenance vessel. There are three steps in the maintenance of boys retrieving, repairing, and relaying of boys. Boy yard is an open place where the boy materials are stored for a short period. This boy yard is situated in Oka. DGPS Differential Global Positioning System DGPS is a widely used radio aid in India. It is an enhanced global positioning system. India has a chain of 23 DGPS stations along the coast including Andaman, Nicobar and Lakshadweep Islands providing better than 5 meter accuracy in an economic exclusive zone waters. Radar beacons are user friendly to the mariners. It works when interrogated with signal from the ship radar flying in the vicinity and provides range and direction of the ship with reference to the radar beacon's position. There is a chain of 64 radar beacons placed along the Indian coast. 
Vessel Traffic Service is established for organizing traffic and minimizing risk and protecting environment disaster. All the major ports along the coastline of India are equipped with Vessel Traffic Service setup. VTS is established in Gulf of Kutch to facilitate safe movement of vessels. Master Control Center is set up in Kanla. The system has 9 X-band radar sensors strategically located. In total, there are 22 sites spread along the coast of 800 kilometers and are covering a water area of 16,500 square kilometers. Area-wise, the VTS Gulf of Kutch is one of the largest systems in the world. For effective management of aids to navigation and for traffic of solace complaining vessels, India has established a National Automatic Identification System Network at 74 stations. India is modernizing and expanding its Navtix network for providing...